Hi friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I have Orly's Spring 2021 collection. This is the Day Trippin' collection. I get this collection as part of the Orly Color Pass, which I pay for. It is a monthly subscription service where they ship you the collection before it launches sometimes right around the same time that it launches, um, but you get it automatically for a super discounted price. You can pay um, quarterly or you can pay annually. I pay annually, it's a little bit cheaper, and I know I'm gonna buy them anyways. And you also get some other goodies. So let's dive in and look at the polishes in this collection. And then um, after we look at the swatches, I'll tell you a little bit more about the box and my thoughts on the collection. Okay, so we're gonna look first at Here Comes the Sun. This one is the lovely yellow in this collection it has a little bit of orange in it so it's not um you know it's not like a pure yellow there's definitely a little bit of that kind of orange gives you like the orange juice uh kind of look on your nails it is not like it's bright but it's also a little bit muted like a little bit turned down and i think that's what gives it this kind of like 70s vibe it's it's really cool um, it's not like a mustard by any means it is a bright yellow but it's just got that like hint of kind of mutedness to it um i thought the formula on this one was pretty good i definitely think it needs two coats and depending on how thick you do your coats you you might need three but i think two was good enough for sure um, i mean i took my swatch photo in two and usually usually i need to go more on my swatch photo than i do just to wear um if if a polish is a little bit tricky but this one yeah i think two coats is probably plenty it reminds me of some other yellows that I've seen that I no longer own. Um, particularly, it reminds me a little bit of Kale Polish Tropicana because it does have that, like, just a hint of orange in it. It's not a, like, super pure yellow. But, yeah, I think that you'll really like this one if you're a yellow fan because the formula, especially for a yellow, is really nice. So that's two coats of Here Comes the Sun. Okay, up next is Happy Camper. And this one, I think, has the worst formula of the whole bunch. It's not terrible like compared to other nail polishes in the world but this collection just has like really really good formulas um they describe this one as a pastel turquoise cream and i would say that's what it is uh, i think that in real life uh it's a little bit more um pigmented it's coming off a little bit more like white and kind of washed out on screen here but i would say it's a little bit more pigmented in you know kind of the real world uh, it's not quite as like blindingly bright the formula on this one I just found to be a little bit streaky and kind of like, how do I describe it? Almost like fluffy, you know, like it just didn't quite want to go where I wanted it to go. Um, I feel like I've had this experience with some other pastels in the past where they're just a little bit, they have like a little bit more body to them. Um, and it can give you that kind of like pooling that you see on my ring finger there where it's like a little bit patchier in the center. Um, so you might want to do like three really thin coats on this one instead of what I did, which is two kind of like normal coats. Um, but I think the color payoff on this is absolutely gorgeous and just really stunning. Uh, I think it's a really fun color and I love this one for spring. So I know those of you who are picky about this collection is not a spring collection, you'll probably love this one because it's a little bit more classic. And so that's two coats of Happy Camper. Okay, up next is Kitch You Later, which I think is a very cute name. This one is also coming off a little bit more like neon and bright on my live swatch than it is in real life. It's got a little bit more kind of a like muted dustiness. It's not quite as like, I don't know, this looks kind of like uh, macaroni and cheese almost, but it's, it's not quite as bright and I just couldn't, I played with my lighting here and I couldn't get it exactly right. I think my swatch photo is, is much closer to real life, which you'll see in just a second. Um, but this one is... Yeah, it's really, really fun. Um, I think this one has a great formula and yeah, I mean, the world just like needs more oranges. And so I think this one's great. Uh, it's unique for me. I don't know that I have any others like this one in my collection. I will do some comparisons. Um, I did not have the time to get comparisons up this week as some of you might've heard, we did some kind of home renovation projects this weekend. And so it just took up a lot more of my time than I expected it to, but uh, I will do comparisons. I'll just do a separate video soon. And so I'll do a little bit more in-depth comparisons, but this one has a great formula. It's a really fun color. And I just think it could be a really fun, like spring, summer transition shade. Sounds great. Okay, here's one of my favorites. I'm gonna spoil it. I really like this one. This one is Can You Dig It? And on the Orly website, this one looks a little bit deeper and darker and kind of like more rusty, but I would say, I think my live swatch here is like pretty accurate. It is very much this like kind of terracotta-y color. Oh, 
you might be able to hear Artie in the background, he's hanging out with me. Um, and they describe it actually on their website as a terracotta cream polish. And they say it's a neutral and I feel like, yeah, I'm here for that. I think this one's totally a neutral. It's like light enough that, you know, it's not gonna make a huge statement, but it's like a fun neutral, which are my favorite kind of neutrals. Um, so I will definitely be wearing this one. I think it has a great cream formula. Um, I did get a little bit of, you know, I did do some cuticle cleanup, which you can see there, uh, but that was user error. That was not the nail polish's fault. Um, the Orly brush is definitely that wide brush. Uh, I don't think it's as wide as it used to be. It has gotten a little bit thinner maybe in like the last year, which I think is phenomenal. Um, some of my older Orly's are just like, my nails just like drown in that brush, <laughs> but this one is, is pretty good for me. I do sometimes have to do a little bit of cuticle cleanup, but I actually use the, Orticle, the Orly um, cuticle cleanup brush. And so it's all good, it's all good. So you are looking at two coats of the lovely terracotta. Can you dig it? Okay, here we go. These are the shades that I think make people feel like this is not a spring collection. Um, and you know, I hear you on this one. I really, really do. This one is called Feeling Foxy, which is so much fun. And it is so vampy. They call this a deep plum cream, but I don't know. I mean, I see purple in here, but it's a little bit more to me like eggplanty purple. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess plum and eggplant, maybe they're not that different, especially when you get this dark, but it definitely has a little bit of purple in here, which I think you can see just that kind of like hint of purpliness. It's kind of just like a very smoky color. And yeah, I don't know. I really like this one. Um, they claim on their website that, you know, this is a good color for year round. They say it's a year round staple, which sure, maybe. Um, I don't wear colors like this outside of really fall and winter, but I mean, I, I guess it is more of like a classic color and an orly, you know, they like to kind of mix it up in their collection sometimes, but this one has a dream formula to work with. It's so lovely. And I definitely think I haven't worn this one. And so, you know, you might get more of that purple in the sunlight, but my guess is it's going to be pretty close to what you see here in kind of regular room lighting. This one definitely looks just like black or maybe really dark charcoal. Okay, and then we have the last one in this collection, also a cream because they're all creams, which is just fabulous. This one is Let the Good Times Roll. And I think this one's like a really dusty kind of like peacock blue, like a dusty peacock. And they describe this one as a teal gray cream polish. I don't think that their color descriptions are that great. I usually don't even include them in my early videos because I just don't think they're that great. Um, but I would say, yeah, this one's like teal gray. Sure, I get it. It's very dusty. This one definitely gives me those like vintage, you know, 70s vibes. And I love this one. I mean, I just, I love these colors. Um, I only swatched this one. I haven't worn it yet. And so I didn't get any staining from swatching, which is a good sign. I do sometimes, um, you know, some polishes are pigmented enough that I will get staining even just from swatching them. Um, but this one, when I took it off, it was totally clean. I didn't have any problems. You know, these kind of teal green colors can give some staining to sometimes, but this one I had had no problems with. And I think the formula is dreamy. I would say this one's probably like almost a one coater. I, I mean, I'm doing two coats here, but like my pinky nail looks pretty perfect. Um, I usually do two coats, even if it's a one coater, um, but you might be able to get away with one on this one if you're just kind of like in a rush and you wanna throw on a lovely color. Okay, so in this collection, we have six creams. They're not a super springy palette, but I am here for this collection, my friends. This is it. This is like what I live for, everybody. This is what I live for. I know a lot of you have messaged me on Instagram and you're like, hey, this is not a spring collection, just FYI. I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. <laughs> I really like this palette. I do feel like you could wear a lot of these colors just like all year round, whenever you want to. Sure, some of them might be a little more summery, um, but you know, eh, I feel like I could wear these any time of year and really, I mean, spring is like pretty short. <laughs> um, so I feel like I feel fine with having some colors that I'll wear towards the end of spring. Okay, I do think my two favorites are Can You Dig It and Here Comes the Sun. I mean, yeah, I love the blues in here. I love them. These two, I just, I want every brand to have eight more yellows in their collection. I want every brand to do 25 more of these like terracotta oranges. We just need more of them in the world is my opinion. And so I love that Orly did these. I'm really excited to wear them. I don't know that this yellow is like, 
super flattering on my skin tone, but I do kind of love that it's a little bit muted. It's like bright and also muted at the same time. And so I think it might work for me better than, um, you know, some other like kind of bright sunny yellows. Uh, they, they don't really look super great on my skin tone, but this one, I think the little muted part here is gonna look really nice. Okay, so usually in the Orly Colourpass box, you get an Orly product and then something like a little bonus. Um, in this collection, we got a Bonder base coat, which is fine. I feel neutral about this. I know people love this base coat. I've used it a couple times. I had a bottle a while ago that I used a couple times, and it's just not my favorite base coat in the world. Um, and so I will probably pop this in a box to de-stash or to put in a um, giveaway at some point in time, just because I usually just use the base coat from my brand because it's obviously everything I'm looking for, but I love that they include some free products in this box. It makes it a little bit more enticing. Okay, and then they included this like little kind of hotel key keychain, um, which really fits with the theme. I am not gonna use this, but it fits with the theme, which I can appreciate. Um, I usually like when they kind of include products from another brand. Like I feel like we got some perfume samples one time, we got like a cleanser one time, and they're always vegan and cruelty free, which is so cool. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I feel neutral about this keychain. I wish it was something else, but I feel okay with it. I'll forgive them. Um, real quick, this is my third year um, renewing my Orly Color Pass. I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. But I would buy the full collection anyways because I want to review it and share it with you. If you are not someone who would buy the full collection, it may not be a great deal for you. Uh, but I love this service. I think it's awesome. I wish the other brands did it because I probably would sign up, honestly. <laughs> um, but I really like Orly. It's really fun. Okay, awesome. So those are my thoughts on this collection. I would love to hear if we have similar favorites. How are you feeling about the palette? I know it's not super springy. Let me know down below. And as always, thank you so much for joining me in this video. I can't wait to see you in next week's video and I'll talk to you later. Bye.